The Minecraft movie trailer is here and the internet is divided. What the hell? Some people don't like it. Some people hate it. But why? Why the rage? Why are people mad at Jack Black? I thought we all liked Jack Black. Well, all will be revealed on this, Scroll Deep, the show that keeps up with this kind of internet nonsense so you don't have to. Brought to you by Nando's New Menu. So yes, the trailer for the Minecraft movie dropped. Uh, there's a Minecraft movie and everyone hates it. And this isn't new. I know what you're going to say, yeah, Benedict, everyone hates everything these days. Everyone hates every trailer, every show, every movie. That's just how the internet works. There's nothing new. This is just the hell we live in and cinema sins and YouTubers are to blame. Even now, I'm sure there's a thousand videos being uploaded that are like, Minecraft gone woke, woke craft. And certainly that is a fulfilling way to spend your fleeting time on this earth. But no, even among the the tidal wave of negativity that we call the internet, the Minecraft movie has been getting some really negative backlash. So let's run down what's happened here. First of all, a Minecraft movie has been hotly anticipated ever since Minecraft burst onto the scene back in 2009, a game created by no one. Famously a game without a creator. It uh, became a huge phenomenon, somewhat popular, uh, the biggest selling game of all time, 350 million copies sold and counting, and it's finally here, a Minecraft movie. The stuff that clickbait YouTube videos in 2012 were made of. And it's almost upon us, well it's April 2025. It actually feels very early for them to be dropping a trailer, but it's April 2025. You got stars like Jason Momoa, Jack Black, the girl from Wednesday who did the craziest English accent I've ever heard in The Good Girl's Guide to Murder. There were a million discrepancies about that night. Any one of them could have killed Andy. No hate to this lady, but it was a nuts accent. The movie trailer dropped this week, the teaser trailer, and people are not best pleased. And I kind of get it. Look, first of all, I think it might actually have the worst green screening I've ever seen in a big budget movie. The issue for me is the lighting. They're doing this thing that every TV show and movie does these days, where everyone is dead center of the frame, right, in a mid shot. So they don't really look like they're in the environment. And the light is always behind them. In every shot, no matter where they're standing, they just have bright light behind them. Like, and in this shot, Jack Black has fire behind him and the fire has no effect on how he's being lit. And this may sound incredibly nerdy and annoying, and it is, but it has a big impact because if you don't light them properly, it doesn't feel like they're in the world. It just looks like a bunch of people standing in front of a kind of brightly lit green screen, which it is. It looks like a cheap advert. Like there are Super Bowl ads that look more immersive than this. I understand that for technical reasons, they couldn't actually put them in the Minecraft world. This has been explained to me as unfortunately not possible, but you could make it look more immersive than this. Perhaps it should have gone fully animated. We'll discuss that in a minute. But before that, we have to get to what the internet is saying because the internet has some opinions. Oh, what's this? Never mind, it's time for the Nando's Mystery Bag. Yes, it's back yet again. The Nando's Mystery Bag. Get your guesses in now. What's going to be in it this week? Oh, it's a big one. That's bucket like a Bronco. I might need two hands for this. It's gravy. It's a very small pot of delicious Nando's gravy. But what else is in the bag? It's a thank you card. Shall I read it? Dear Nando's. Thank you from Scroll Deep. I said thank you to Nando, a heartfelt thank you to Nando's for sponsoring um, the last couple of episodes of Scroll Deep. Sadly, our time together has come to an end. It's been magical. And I want to thank all of you for your very kind comments about the Nando's collab. Nando's, it's been magical and maybe we'll be back together soon. Who knows? But uh, for the very last time, I want you to all bid farewell to the Nando's mystery bag. Good night, sweet prince. Hiya! People were tweeting, oh lord, they were tweeting. One person tweeted, quote, looks terrible. We'll be watching no matter what. Another person said, yeah, not gonna lie, I have zero idea why anyone thought making this live action would be a good idea. That was a frequently expressed opinion. Another person said, my kid's opinion on the Minecraft trailer looks cursed. There you have it. So the internet is divided. I mean, the main point of contention is that it seems like it's a bit of a strange move to make it live action. We should talk about this now, actually. I feel like they had an open goal, which was the Lego movie, a movie that was a good movie that everyone liked and made a lot of money where they just made the whole thing animated. I feel like you either have to go all animated. And again, this is a film for children that I'm discussing <laughs> with great seriousness, but you either have to make it all animated or I think you have to make it more live action-y where you match the Minecraft style to the real life actors. But what you have here is real people in a very cartoony Minecraft world, which just looks odd. I think the animation on the Minecraft world looks cool, but I think the people stand out in it in a weird way. Like I almost just want to see more of the, the world. 
but that's just me. But you know, there is precedent for this. There was of course the famous Sonic movie catastrophe where they unveiled Sonic and he was terrifying looking and everyone was like, this movie's gonna be a car crash. And then they, they went and they, they just overworked some animators for six months and then they made a good looking Sonic and then the Sonic movie was pretty good. So maybe the already under, underpaid, overworked animators will be punished further and this movie will look better, who knows? I mean, that is probably part of the reason why the green, well, part of the reason why the green screening looks bad is that they've probably done what they always do these days, which is that they haven't really planned any of the shots in advance. They've just put them in a green screen, filmed them in a very broad way and, and lit them in a completely broad way and then been like, we'll just figure out what's in the background afterwards, which is why nothing has any intentionality to it anyway. But apart from the style of the film, there's also been talk about what will be going down in the film. Will there be cameos? I predict that there will probably be some some kind of Technoblade tribute to the late great uh, YouTuber known for Minecraft content. There has already been a tweet with a rumor that Technoblade will be mentioned in the film or have a statue, but I don't know if that's been confirmed. You know, will it be like the famously good movie Free Guy where we will see Jack Septicai? Maybe they'll do that thing where streamers appear on screen for one second and go, whoa, he's doing it, he's getting the sword. Even an element that would once have been a slammed dunk, the inclusion of Jack Black, has got a little bit of controversy around it. The internet is currently not happy with Jack Black after he turned on his longtime friend and partner, Kyle Gass from Tenacious D, after Kyle made a joke about the Trump assassination attempt. And everyone was like, oh, he just threw him under the bus because he didn't want to lose his role in the Minecraft movie. And look at this, was this movie worth it? So people are mad at Jack Black. Look, this movie will make easily a billion, I would say. Mario made a billion, I'm pretty sure. Sonic made a load of money. You know, we can all get online like nerds and complain about this, but there's plenty of normal people with more healthy, less online brains who will just go and see this movie. Not to mention children who will definitely go and see this movie. So the movie will be a financial success no matter what. So it's almost not worth analyzing. You should probably go back in time and not watch this video at all. But what do you think? Do you think that there is promise in this trailer? Will you be seated day one? Do you think people should mine their own business? Do you think they could have crafted a better movie? And who do you think will make a cameo? This is probably the most interesting question about movie. Who will be cameoing in the Minecraft movie? Let me know in the comments down below and if you've made it this far of course give the episode a like and make sure to follow for all the latest internet nonsense of all flavours right here on Scroll Deep. And thank you again to the brave folks at Nando's. And as we say in the Minecraft community, this is a number one victory royale.